Congratulations. If you could just take us through the match from your perspective, your thoughts on the win. Should I do it in English? Yes, please. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, I'm pleased with this match. Um, obviously, I'm not taking any win for granted, especially this year. It's been, you know, uh, a year where I haven't had many wins. So very happy to get this first round here in the US Open. I've had some early exits here. So it was very important for me to kind of um, go through this uh, first challenge. And I was playing a, an opponent that I've never played before. So I didn't really know what to expect. But um, what I was sure is that I've been training very hard since I'm not playing many matches. I've been training a lot. And so I was prepared um, to go with with what I had and fight and try to try to try to be inside of the of the tournament. Okay. Uh, are there any questions in English? Go right ahead. Name and affiliation, please. Hi, Rosie Demano from the Toronto Star. Um, you've been beating yourself up all year. You even went on social media to apologize to your fans. So how hard has this experience been since you won the WTA final? Um, I mean, it's been hard, Every, including me and everybody, um, you know, thinks that because you finished the year very well that, you know, everything is going to be the same next year. And I really felt like uh, um, a little bit of a drop this year in terms of um, sometimes it was tenistically, sometimes it was mentally, sometimes it was just energy. And so... Yeah, I mean, I think this is a, a year where I'm feeling the toll of many years on tour, but I'm going through it, um, you know, with a with a with a trying to have a smile and uh, knowing that I've had great years. This might not be the best year of my career, but still, still here and still competing.